Hey everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to our replay of the Allied Campaign in Panzer Corps Gold. We're up to the second battle of Al Alamein and if you saw our first episode in this battle, you'll know that we've broken through the Axis minefields but at heavy cost. Some of our air units have been peppered by the Axis anti-air fire and our artillery and infantry has been hit by Axis artillery as they've crossed the minefields. This is a crucial episode for the Allied forces. We have to make deeper pres pres penetration into the Axis lines. We have to start taking some of our objectives and hopefully at lesser cost than what we paid in the first episode. Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's jump right back into the action. In our previous episode, we broke through, I'm gonna zoom in here. We broke through the German minefields in the north, right along the coastal road here. And in case, just to get a quick recap, we need to get the six objectives for a decisive victory. This German city to the northwest, these four flags in the center of the map, and then this Italian flag right down here on the southern part of the map. So we're trying to get that decisive victory, and there's minefields and German forces and Axis forces in our way. So the goal is to break through as quickly as possible and take these objectives. We've cleared our first minefield to the north here with the help of these Scorpion tanks. We've also broken through here to the south to the north central but this line of artillery is creating some problems for us here then we've also broken through just a little bit to the south of that and having a little bit more luck with this attack and then by far our biggest breakthrough we've got everybody through the minefield and our very most southern breakthrough as our, our southern point down here this is where we're having the most success so far and i'm hopeful that we can clear this and then start sweeping westward with these troops let's dig back into the action here so we've got some promising attacks up here with Parkera's first armor can hit this artillery and take it out of action pretty much, which I think is a promising attack for us. So we're gonna push forward one here and hit this artillery. You get a 10, eight, ah, just don't kill it. We did push it back now, aha, anti-aircraft, interesting. Okay, and we also have Zilla's 22nd armor that could hit this infantry but suffer heavy casualties. We have to get this artillery out of the way, this mobile artillery behind it out of the way. Hmm, okay. Um, let's, that's a problem, isn't it? I should have hit that mobile artillery because that would have allowed us to attack that infantry. That wasn't my brightest moment there. Let's have our, let me think for a second. Alrighty, I think I got it sorted out. Let's pull the scorpion down here and try to break through to this southern point here. That might allow us to get around this minefield a little bit here. So we clear that mine. And I think we can push forward with the infantry, but that would be a brutal attack there. But let's push forward with the infantry, move the artillery behind it and pound them a little bit. So we'll put the infantry up there. Let's push forward with our artillery here. And let's see if we can start pounding this artillery behind it here with artillery. All right, minus one, we'll take that. Good, now down here, maybe we can send my armor unit down. What about the infantry? We have to get on the half tracks. Okay, but we're starting to break through here. Let's send the armor down here and see what we find. We could get three to two, that's not a good attack. And there's a minefield still in the way. Oh, there's artillery there too, great. Lovely, let's move our infantry forward one here and see what we can do. That's, okay, not as much progress as I was hoping up here. Behind us, let's uh, get Zach's uh, back some uh, experienced replacements here so they can get back into the battle. And we do know where the anti-air unit is up here. So, boy, if we can knock that out, then we can get this bomber active a little bit more. That would be nice. I'm still leery of sending the bomber forward here because I bet there's one more anti-air unit behind it. So let's see if we can make any progress down here to the south of them. Gosh, we really need to clean that artillery up behind it, don't we? Okay, uh, let's skip this north central portion for the moment and let's come down here and see if we can have any luck here. So we've got uninhibited air attacks down here. Let's have, this is our Kitty Hawk. We can have them hit this arm of the artillery behind it, minus one, good. That weakens it, and then we can fly them back to the base, get them out of the way. And we could bring forward, it doesn't look like there's anti-air in here, let's do that. Let's bring the 19th tactical down here. Actually, we have our much superior bomber. 
that we could bring right here and probably almost wipe it out. Let's do that. Minus seven, another kill for the 11th tactical. Excellent. That means if we switch to ground here, we've got this weakened infantry there. We should be able to, let's have Jock's 21st engineers clear this minefield out of the way. They suffer some casualties again. That clears the minefield out of the way. Gives us another breakthrough. We can move our Valentines, but these are attached to us. So we don't really care too much about them. Let's push, let's clear Jock out of the way then we can push our artillery up move these tanks up and pummel them that way okay so go take a breather jock push them up let's push our oh wow there's still minefields here that's good to know now let's pummel them with this artillery our 15th artillery minus three good now they are red minus three can we get our 17th armor kill them off probably not Oh, I wish I had one more unit to move. That would have been nice. Okay, let's hit him with our 10th armored division. Minus five. Oh, so close. Gosh, and they're going to escape there too. Oh, we can move him forward and finish him off with the 17th armor. Let's do that. Get a kill with it. Excellent. Good. That pushes them out of the way. Nice. Wow, there's a channel. There's minefields everywhere. They filled the desert with mines deserts all over the place. All right, that leaves our artillery a little bit exposed here, but there's not much I can do about that. Let's push forward with our 19th commandos. Let's push forward with nice... Actually, we're going to wait here because they might be able to come around to the south here. Okay, now the south is by far our most promising, and I think we should be able to do some damage on this anti-air unit here too because I think I was clicking around. It looks like Flaky can come here. He's going to lose two, but he's going to wipe that anti-air unit out, which would be awesome. Oh, he had a mine. God. That wasn't what I wanted to have happen. Okay. That slows us down a little bit. Okay, let's see here. It looks like JJ's second armor might be able to put the kill on these uh, Italian paratroopers wandering on the desert. Minus eight. Excellent. Good. That's a nice hit for us there. And now, can we get Greeno's paratrooper six to four? Wow, that's that's not the best odds. Let's push them forward one, see if they're gonna run into more mines. There's mines everywhere. There's just channels through these mines. Okay, I wish we had one more. Actually, they can move. Ah, but they can't. Yeah, they could go there, couldn't they? They could still hit any. Gosh. I was hoping to finish that off this turn. That's that's disappointing. Okay, we need to have Custard's Ninth there hit this infantry as best it can. No damage, but we'll have it go here to get resupplied with fuel. That's fine. Yep. Now let's have our Auxiliary Grant try to finish this infantry off. Excellent. Another kill for us. Perfect. The question is, are there minefields ahead of this? Let's just move them one forward to find out. No, there aren't. Now, we could move Goose's 5th Recon up into the mountains and hit them pretty hard. That's enticing. We'll lose two casualties, but we'd really damage that anti-air unit. But it's not really going to do anything this turn anyway, because it's just kind of stuck there. It's, there's no air units to hit. So let's just move Goose's forward here. Gosh. And then second move can go there. Okay, we got to see what's coming up. Good. We're just making some progress down here. Now, we've got this infantry, which is the French Free Brigade. We'll keep them on the ground, pushing forward this way. Whoops. And the commandos. Oh, we're going to need our engineers again. Let's push them right up here. We're not going to attack. That's, that's ridiculous casualties. The 20th engineers could clear more mines, couldn't they? But... There's nothing that they can reach at the moment. Hmm. Okay, let's move them into the mountains here just for one, just in case. Okay, so I think we've moved everything down here. Gosh, I want to finish off that anti-air. That'll really open up this and give our, our aircraft something to do. Right now, they're just twiddling their thumbs to a large degree. Okay, did we, we've moved pretty much everything in the middle here except for nice vids, commandos, but we're just going to move them forward one. Gosh, this is just a... Is this just like a highway through the mines? This is amazing. 
They've got to end sometime, right? We're going to need Jock Jr.'s 21st Engineers back here again. Okay, now we've got, we can do some damage here. I just don't know how much we can do. We could move this... Hmm, let me think for a second. All right, I think what we're gonna do is have our Scorpion move down here, clear these mines out, suffer some casualties, but we clear more mines. Then we'll have this infantry move up here. We're gonna have our artillery pound this infantry as best we can. Gosh, it's, that's just nothing. We're just not getting through there very well at all, are we? All right. I think we, we're just kind of stymied there. But, okay, now we have this, hmm, okay, we've moved everything up north. We've moved everything in the middle, just thinking here for a second. We've moved everything to south. I think we're pretty much done, aren't we? We do have the question of what do we want to do with our tactical bomber here. Now, we've already exposed the tactical bomber here, and we're hoping there's no anti-air units. Let's gotta believe they're there we're gonna move and try to let's try to hit this Italian armor that would be we might be able to get one more attack off actually minus four to weaken it what does that do two to one we could get lucky with our fourth Indian division and there are auxiliaries let's do it let's see if we can get a kill here minus three the Indians come through excellent that gives us somewhat of a breakthrough an unexpected breakthrough we're gonna kind of I think we need to push forward with it, too. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, excellent. That gives us a little bit more, um, a little bit more progress there. An unexpected spurt of progress at the end. Everybody else has moved. I wish we could hit that. But it's got an anti-air unit. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. They're just going to resupply it. But we got some kills. We made some progress. We broke through a little bit. Let us see how the Axis respond. Artillery hits our artillery. Mm. Hits it again. Minus three. Goodness, it's down to five. Uh oh. Comes there. Minus two on our air. Mine. Okay, get an air battle now. Oh. Oof. Minus five. Gosh. That was. Ah. They hit our. Okay. Oof. Gooses. Recon getting hit hard. These, these aren't messing around. We're getting some serious damage here. Gosh, they reduced our artillery down by two. Can we get full? We can get full replacements, but it's a hundred and something prestige to do so. God, and they're going to get hit again here. We're just stuck on this nut that we can't get around. Ah. Uh, okay. And we have... Okay. I'm going to think for a second, then we'll be right back. All right. I, I confess I don't quite know what to do, but... For lack of a better plan, let's start in the south and see if we can figure out some of these little puzzles down here. So I want it, we have to get uh, Goose's Recon out to get resupplied. It's down to five and it will get killed on the next turn unless we can make some progress through here. So let's bring forward our Free French Brigade, but looks like it's gonna be able to have a pretty successful attack on this uh, Ariete division. Minus four, minus six. Okay, good, we got a kill. Excellent, that should allow us to pull back with Goose's Recon, get them out of here. Then we can bring this Grant forward, and it should hit this Italian armor pretty hard. Let's see what we can do. Minus four, good. No damage, excellent. It's going to probably push it back. It didn't, but it's almost out of arm ammunition. Okay. And that gives us the opportunity to bring Flaky's armor. We know there's no minefields in this channel because this, this anti-aircraft unit's gone up there. Oh, minus four. Let's, oh, actually, I got an idea. Let's come down here with Flaky's uh, tanks and see if we can finish off this Italian armor. Excellent. Nice. No damn. Oh, Flaky loses one, but still another kill. Perfect. That gives us some room to move forward with these troops here, too. Now, could we? Nope, we can't do that. Okay. Let's move forward here with our 20th engineer. Clear these mines. If we clear these mines, I think we can start to hit this objective and hopefully knock out this, um, we can't leave this paratrooper, knock out this anti-air. We can't leave the paratroopers behind us. Let's have JJ's second armor 
hit this. Italian infantry pattern paladins minus four. No damage. Good. They can still move right here. FM Greeno is going to get six to two. That's pretty. It's not the best, but we need to we need to move forward. Let's go. Minus one. Minus six. A kill for FM Greeno's paratroopers. Perfect. And now we should be able to pull through here with our armor. And let's pull Greeno up here. Good. We're making progress down here. We're paying some casualties, but this is promising stuff down here. And we know this armor tra traveled in this channel, so I think this channel is free of mines, maybe. We've cleared the second level of minefields here to the south, which is good. We can start hitting these Italian infantry in the mountains, or maybe even put some pressure on this anti-aircraft unit, which has been creating all kinds of problems for us. We have German aircraft here that we have to take care of. And I think if we hit it from the north side, this can't get to us. So let's try that. Let's bring our Kitty Hawk, our expendable air unit, up here and have that hit it from here. Four to two, minus two, minus six. Excellent, good. Then let's have Custard see if he can come up and into the south here and finish it off. No damage, minus four. Custard gets a kill. Aircraft eliminated, perfect. This here gives us some interesting situations because we know there's anti-air up here. So think out loud with me for a second here. Okay, so we have our aircraft here and we, know, we haven't seen any anti-aircraft fire down in here, but we know that there's anti-aircraft up here. However, up here, if we push forward on here, we could hit the anti-aircraft and then maybe finish it off, but that leaves us still stymied behind this infantry. Whereas if we hit this artillery with the Parker's first armor and potentially wipe it out, then we can hit this infantry with our artillery and bring our Australian infantry to bear on these infantry in the woods and perhaps get past them. I kind of think we should try to get these units free first. So let's do that. We're going to have Parkera's first division hit this. Minus three. God, oh, that's... They didn't even move it. Uh, it's not, not helpful. Okay, so we'll have this artillery now fire on the infantry, I guess. Minus two, good. That's progress. Five to three, though. That's not what we want. Okay, we can get some more help here. Ten to one. We're stuck behind here. We can attack here. Three to two, that's not good. Hmm. Okay, let's clear these mines with our scorpions they do that and let's push forward with our new zealand infantry but let's just hold them there maybe they'll attack us and we'll get a little bit lucky all right we still have our recon too to push forward i think we can use our recon down here more than up there so let's bring zach's fourth recon this way oh i should have used our anti-air against that aircraft i could have done that Let's, now we got some units to, to attack down here too. So let me just think for one more second. Oops. So, sorry, I, I realized I wanted to do something and I didn't think. Then I'm gonna pull this artillery out to get it replenished next turn because it took a beating there. And six to one, we'd get ravaged if we try to attack that. Down here, we, however, we've got some progress Look at this anti-air unit, which is a big pain. We can't get around these minefields with that. Oh, wait. Here's an idea. We could bring our snow... Oh, there's this infantry here. That's right. That's what's creating the problem. But... Okay, I'm going to think another second here. All right. I think we have a plan. Let's bring Nicevid's 13th Commandos up here and try to hit this uh, Italian infantry. And if we get lucky, we should do some pretty significant damage there. Minus four, oh, minus two. Oh, I feel like the die roll gods are not favoring us. I wanted to at least push them back. Oh, but we have our ninth tactical, and they're not going to attack anything up there, so let's have them finish them off. 
Excellent. Minus three. No casualties, hopefully. Good. And that gives us a lot of room to work with. We can at least push forward and see if there's any more mines up here. Let's take one bold step forward. No mines there. Good. Let us now... Can they go around? They can. The question is, would there be mines here? I'm tempted to send our 17th armor around and just smash this anti-aircraft. That would be huge, because then we could bring our bombers right in. Hopefully no mines. Perfect. Flatten it. Minus 10, the kill for the 17th armor. No damage. And that opens up the battlefield nicely. Oh, that's perfect. There might be minefields here, but we've got a major breakthrough now. We can send our Grant, what is this, the Valentine tanks? Let's push them forward and... S I'm going to be a little cautious here. I think we want to sweep around this way because we want to come in behind this artillery to break this. So let's push right forward up to here. See if we have any... Okay, we got some armor coming at us. Not a problem. We can move this down here and clear this minefield out. Excellent. Good. And now we know that our tactical bombers are free to move. These have all moved down here because we've got no anti-air units down in here. So let's get our tactical bombers busy. This one's at an eight. We probably should replenish it. Do we dare fly it over here? Do you think there's more anti-air in here? I think, I think we need to take the risk because this artillery is killing us. Go for it. Minus three. Oof, okay. Oh, and there's anti-aircraft right there. I am such an idiot. There's an 88s too. They're going to just mash this bomber. Ah, oh, what a dummy. Just after we cleared to the south, I had to go north. I don't know what I was thinking. Really, what was I thinking? It makes no sense. Ugh. Okay, let's push this unit forward. Oop, that was dumb. Oh, that was really dumb. I'm, I'm having brain issues now, obviously. Where's our other tactical bomber? I'm, 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 I think I need a break. I'm being a dummy. Oh, here it is right here. Let's switch to this one. Tactical bomber. Okay, so he can come down here. Has he already moved? No, he hasn't. And hit this. Let's hit this Italian armor because it can a pretty big hurt on it. Minus five. Good. And tanks coming up here. But we put some pretty big damage on that. Got a good breakthrough here to the south. I think that makes us move. We've done... Oh, we've got some infantry to move forward here. Let's push them forward to here. And let's give Jock Juniors... We're going to give them some regular replacements because they don't have too much experience. So we're going to just give them regular replacements now. We can move our artillery forward as well. Let's pull them right here behind this truck. So if they attack it, at least our artillery, artillery moved by its truck. So it can't do anything. Okay, I think... Oh, we've got this fighter to still move. We can bring them here and hit this infantry. Start to weaken it. Good. No damage. Ugh. Maybe we can't weaken it. That means... Oh, we got one more to go here. Let's push them forward. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, we've left a hole here, haven't we? That's that's actually pretty dangerous. Um, can they move? They can't. They're stuck. Well, we it's it's okay. They're not. I don't think they're gonna come forward. So, yeah, watch. Now they'll just pour forward. Up here, we can move. There, we can move them. Oh, we can hit this artillery if we move forward on this. And we can get six to three, six to two if we go there. Will they attack our, our, our artillery? Probably, but maybe not. And then they would be unentrenched. Let's do it. Let's come up here and hit this minus one. No damage. Okay. Still, that's promising. They can actually move, but that's not going to be helpful for us. They can move. Let's get them out of the way, and we can move this here to make it safe from that attack. Okay. Oh, we still have the armor here. My armor. 
Zilla's 22nd armor. What shall we do with you? Three to two. That's heavy casualties. Let's give you some supplies instead and sit there behind our defense. Okay. I think now we've done everything that we can do in this turn. Let's end the turn. Yes. Artillery hits our artillery. Okay. Much better. Artillery hits our infantry, minus one, we can take that. Artillery hits our infantry, minus four. Seriously? Oh, minus one. Gosh, they've got artillery all over the place. No damage on that, okay. Oh, here comes air. Hit our tactical bomber. Hit them for three, they hit us for one. This unit's gonna fire on it though, isn't it? Oh, minus five, minus two. They're throwing everything at us. Oh. Minus three, minus two, ugh. Yeah, minus four on our tactical air. Our tactical air is, oh no. No damage, good. There's a lot of anti. Minus three up here, no damage, push back. Minus four, ugh. Minus four, what is that? Oh, that's our anti-aircraft. We were idiots. Oh, okay. I had to get. We have to. We just, that was some pretty serious casualties there. There is a lot of stuff here. Those have resupplied. Gosh, we're getting our butts kicked again. This game's getting hard. <laughs> At least a lot harder than it was in the beginning. It doesn't help when I make really bad mistakes, though. Well, we know what we're going to do here. We're going to take this anti aircraft and uh, fire on this unit that attacked us here. So let's do that. Let's toggle for that. See if we can do some damage on that aircraft. Minus one. That's not much. And now let's get it out of here to replenish its supplies. God, that was dumb. Okay. There's a whole fleet of armor coming at us. And they're protected by something. This Valentine's just not strong. It's already beat down a little bit. Wow. Okay, we got to think for a second. Figure out what we're going to do, huh? Okay, I confess I'm a little bit of loss as to what to do here, but let's do the best we can with each one and then we're going to kind of move forward here. First up, let's... We can have this fighter, which is almost out of gas, hit this infantry that's dug in. Minus one. Good. Then we're going to have them fly back and get fueled up. That should reduce their entrenchment to one. Five to two casualties. It's still too much. But what if we brought the tactical bomber down here? Actually, I want to wipe out this art armor with it. I think we can get a kill with it. Let's do it. Minus eight. Excellent. Good. That's wiped out. Let's bring him back. Excuse me. Bring him back for fuel. Good. Now we've got a pathway here, but we've still got this Italian infantry dug in here. What to do? Five to two is way too expensive. Let's bring forward... Reno's third paratroopers here. Let's give our elite replacements. They're brand new, so let's give them regular replacements and get them back in here. Down here, let's give Goose his elite replacements and get him ready to get back into action. Over here, we have this Grant tank is almost out of fuel, out of ammunition. Let's push it forward, though. Ooh, nice. That was lucky. Let's hit that. Minus two. Take it. Minus one, not a very good attack, but out of ammo now. Let's bring forward, ah, Flaky, why can't you go? Oh, it can't get past that. Okay, let's push them, let's push Flaky through the mountains. Not ideal terrain, but we'll do that. Let's give our free French brigade, let's get them closer to this division here. Yeah, let's push them up here. And that is about all we can do down here, except we've got our 17th armor and JJ's second armor. Boy, that's tough armor against infantry and hills like that. Let's push them forward one. Actually, let's undo that. Let's give them how much ammunition? Four out of six. Yeah, let's let them sit there and give them fuel. We'll just do that for right now. Now, we've got this unit that we could go in a lot of different directions with. We could pour it down here, hit this Italian tank pretty hard. But I think we have enough down here. The bigger place where we need to solve is 
up here where we have a lot of troubles. There's just a lot going on. Now, I, I think we might be able to do a suppress surround and surrender on this uh, little Latoro division of Italian tanks because I think we can do, we might even be able to bring him up. Yes, we could. We could bring our 17th armor up there to hit that too, which would be really nice. So let's do this. Let's have our artillery fire on this. Minus two, does that suppress it? Excellent, it's red, good. Now we could bring, we can even just bring the 19th commandos right up there. They would work. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring the 19th Commandos up there. They'll hit them, and that should force the surrender. And that would leave our armor free. Minus three. Surrenders. Excellent. Good. Surround, suppress, and surrender. Perfect. Work like a charm. Now, here, we could give them... Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on. This is not a good attack. This armor is not very good. Valentine tanks are not very strong. I think we want to run away and use them to kind of explore the desert here. Let's, let's do that and see if we have mines down here. Nothing. Good. Okay. Now, better. Yes, here we go. Now we'll bring our 17th armor up here and see if we can wipe out this... Or we can do a lot of damage. We probably can wipe out this Italian uh, tank unit here. Let's do that. If we can get there. It says we're going to get five. Now, I think we can click on the attack. Does that give us the odds or something? It didn't work. Okay, let's try that. Ooh, artillery defending. Minus five, good. Another kill, minus one. 17th armor takes a ding, but we've wiped out that tank unit. Excellent. Let's take this unit, our fourth Indian, which is out of ammo, and let's, almost out of ammo, let's give them, if we move forward there, we're gonna get killed. Let's give them some supply, ammunition. Let's leave our 19th commandos there. We could attack here, but we're sitting pretty right now. We, unfortunately, I don't think we can mess with this fighter unit because we've got this anti, these two anti-air units here. And check this out. Our 19th tactical bomber is reduced to three, which is pretty sad. We're going to bring it all the way back to the air base here. We're going to have to rebuild that one. That was a, a painful experience in dealing with um, anti-air fire. We didn't... That was just dumb. And getting our anti-aircraft unit demolished was pretty dumb too. So... Not our brightest moment there. Okay, Jocks Jr.'s infantry uh, engineers are back in form. We're going to bring them forward and try to push them up here on top to get to kind of get some kind of pressure on this infantry. We've got a lot of work to do here. I'm hopeful we can do some surround and suppress to clear this out because this is the biggest nest really of victory points. Though, if you think about it, so this is probably going to be the hardest spot, right? If we can clear these four out, then it's just driving onto that last one. And we're only on turn six. So that's, you know, let's let's look at the positive here. We're not doing that badly so far. Okay, let's move along though. Um, can we replace these? We can. I'm gonna give them some replacements just because we can use, I think we might still need their minecrafting. And we are almost out of stuff to do with them at the moment. Down here, we have NiceVid's 13th Commandos. They could push forward. We're going to need them, but let's... Hmm, they could push down here pretty quickly, couldn't they? And we still have... No, we don't. We use that. Okay. I'm liking that we might be able to swing in behind this pretty soon. Maybe two turns? I don't think we need to rush it too much. Um, but it'd be nice to get in and try to mess up some of the softer stuff from the rear. So we have to kind of clear this armored unit out, and then we can break right through. But we've got um, 17th armor to do that next turn, so that's progress. We're going to leave them there. Let's just give them some supply. Let's... we got to take care of our aircraft. Our aircraft, however, can play in the desert down here. We can bring them down and do things like this, like hit this. Boom, minus two. Good. Because there's no anti-air down here that we know of. And we'll bring this fighter. Can we do that too? Minus one. We can start hitting this infantry. Minus one. Hmm. I don't want to send it there because it's going to get hit by that anti-aircraft and probably wiped out. Yeah. Yeah, let's come down. A one to one on the tank. That's not very good. Let's hit this infantry. Let's see if we can reduce it a little bit. No damage. Okay. Hmm. 
not so good. And we have nice Fitz 13 commandos to do stuff with. We don't want to send them flying forward. Let's just give them some elite replacements and bring them back up to full strength. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Down here, we have Zach's fourth commandos, uh, fourth recon. They can break through all the way here, which I think will be helpful with their speed to put some pressure on the scenes, on everything behind us here. So let's do that. Let's move them forward. That'll get a check to see if there's mines. Maybe the minefields end here? I don't know. We've got some good luck moving through there now. Okay. Everybody here has moved. This looks pretty good defensively, I think. Now we just figure out this up top here. This is kind of still a thorny mess. I wish we had one more armored unit up here. I think... Let's see if we can wipe out this artillery. Nice, Parkera with another kill. That takes care of that artillery, which is excellent. And let's leave them there. If we move them six to five, it's still not very good. But let's pound them here. Okay, no damage, but it should suppress them, right? Yeah, make some yellow. Seven to two, that's much better. And what if we... Two to one for this armor. Yeah, I'm kind of liking this. I don't think they'll come out. I think they're going to stay there, this infantry unit in the mountains. Let's push this armored unit here. Oh, they have artillery there. Darn it. Okay. This one got pummeled, our Australian division. We might be able to start surrounding this one too, which would be good. Let's instead give them replacements here. Plus two, that gets them a nine. Okay. And let's slide this infantry, our second New Zealand up here. Let's bring our armor here. We can still move this one. We'll move them out of the way. Now we've got some things pretty well surrounded. Let's risk it with our second New Zealand division. Minus eight. Excellent. Oh, they fought valiantly, taking some casualties, but clearing it out. Perfectly. Good. We've turned this corner a little bit. That's promising. Up here, let's replenish this with replacements, just because we might need it later. Let's replenish our artillery with elite replacements. They moved. I think we're done with this turn. Let's see what the Axis forces do, and that should be the good end to this episode because we're close to 40 minutes, I think. Yeah, okay, let's end it here. And turn, yes. Artillery fires on, okay, artillery, no damage. Good. Oof, artillery fires on our artillery. Gosh, they're putting a beat on this stuff. The Air Force left, tanks coming in. Oof, they hit that Grant. Oof, they hit that, ah! These tanks are weak. Oh, man. I have to learn to not leave our recon against armor. That's bad. Sherman survives. Good. Pull back. Okay. Damage done, but I think we can take that. We'll be back in our next turn. Let me know what you think. How are we doing? I feel like we're making progress, but gosh, we're paying a price. Zach's recon has just gotten beat up twice. That's the second time in a row they've been hit really hard we bring them forward they get demolished we bring them backwards then we have to replenish them and bring them forward yeah it's a uh... okay anyway <laughs> sorry zach we'll see you in the next episode let me know how you think we're done we're doing and uh thanks again for tuning in if you've enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you uh if you're new please consider subscribing we'll be back for turn seven it's a slugfest for sure take care